Hey guys, Kiris here. So I'm watching this video today, trolling around the friggin' YouTubes, and this girl's going on about, well, I, I, she says, uh, I support gay rights, and I support the right to marry, and I don't really care what your morality says. And I'm like, really? Really? Okay. So, you know, I, I'm a small government conservative. You know, I admit it. I, I, I'm culture conservative, so I, I think, you know, there should just be minimal law all the way around. On social issues, at least. I don't want friggin' big government, conservative, or uh, progressive. But, you know, I, I just say, hey, you know, I, I don't really think there's these laws, and uh, I was mistaken at the time. I thought that the church could be sued. I didn't really understand the issue uh, clearly, and some people mentioned it, and I agree with them. You know, I didn't understand it. I was confused about it at first. I thought churches could be fined, but no. It but turns out they're like social clubs, and I'm glad to know it. You know, so realistically, no matter what I think of the gay, you know. Uh, and my opinion and right to say it, which I do support, because I think the gay is nasty, but I also think that teach his own. Uh, if the two consenting adults should have do whatever they want in the privacy of their own home. And, uh, and the state shouldn't have anything to do with it. So, you know, really. Uh, so who cares, you know, what people are doing? It's not for the state to define morality or conscience. I don't think so. I'd like to say I trust the better nature of man, but with the way the news and everything is nowadays, well, I don't know if I trust the news, but it's pretty obvious a lot of things happen. Uh, it's hard to say the better nature of man, to be honest. But I think that uh, what I found out was that it's about oh I gotta yeah okay it's about freaking uh, church run businesses is what it's about and of course you know this is kind of a this is a nice girl but she's in the loop you know she's supposed to be religious but she follows the freaking uh, the cultural progressive party line you know okay you know, I, I do economically, so what can I say? I, I just believe it's better economic progressive and freaking uh, social deregulation. So, you know, I, I have the same problem on economic issues. I can't justify my statism there, except I just believe that you can't low bid freaking social contracts of that nature. Uh, because it will fail, you know. That's why. Uh, that's why I differ with libertarians on that. Uh, you know, well, that and I'm a protectionist and an isolationist. You know, I admit it. I just freaking, you know, I don't want, I want, like liberals say, I freaking want the job to stay here. I just, a little tough on immigration. It's kind of weird since some of my some of my friends online wouldn't be here if I freaking had the views I had. So that's kind of an odd thing. I don't know. I might change my view about immigration a little bit, but maybe I won't. I just you know I would have never known them known them if um, I had my way. So that's something to think about. But about the gay thing, it's just like okay, well. You know, when it comes to businesses, at first I was like, no, just, you know, I'm not, I'm pretty anti-theist, pretty much, to be honest. But I've noticed that that comes when uh, people are being socially progressive. So, you know, I'm just like, uh, no. You know, but when it's socially uh, conservative, I'm more apt to it. 
except when it comes to science, which I cannot stand. You know, the whole creationist thing and all that. No. You know, that's just an obfuscation of reality. Frankly, just like I think bringing uh, social consciences on the progressive side, more or less, you need some of that because you need bringing things not to fall into a, a, a despotism. You know, uh, social tyranny. You need social justice. I just think it's better economically based, is all. And, and when it comes to um, jobs owned by um, well, I'm going to say Christian, because that's the way I feel, but technically it could be any religion. Although I would probably disagree with it the further away it got from Christianity, to be honest. You know, because I'm just not that politically correct. I, I value social tradition over freaking political uh, correctness, you know. And it's just, that's the way it is for me. I'm, why well, lie? I'd take exception to a lot of the modern laws that we have now. I believe they're very intrusive, at least socially. Um, so, I would say that I would like to see social, or no wait, um, businesses that are owned by religious um, organizations have an exemption when the business is religiously based and themed in its sole function, like uh, a dress shop, a bakery, a <coughs> a Bible bookstore. I say, hey, uh, I think that should be extended to the religious right to be exclusive and to be discriminating as in discriminating taste not discriminating you know value well yeah discriminating values uh, I think it's preference not prejudice and they should have a right when it is religiously themed and the function of extension of the function of their religion to be discriminating. I don't think you need a pony, pink-haired ponytail guy with a freaking ear, nose ear ring, or with a nose ring, freaking telling everyone, you know, Jesus loves you. No. Well, I don't know, unless the church organization agrees with that. You know, if someone's having a problem with that as a Baptist per se maybe he needs to consider becoming an Episcopalian or a Unitarian or uh, yeah I think so or a number of other organizations that uh, are gay friendly or thinking it I think Methodists just came out as uh, gay friendly you know not everything can be inclusive is the point so no, I, I don't care if some friggin' hobgoblin jumps me in the comment section and goes la, 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 diversity. You know, bullshit. Uh, you know, it needs... And then there was another person, that, a couple other people that were entirely reasonable. So, yes, I have to say, in my own way, I do support gay marriage because I support uh bringing the government staying out of people's business and yet I think that that extends to the freedom of religion of religious businesses the government staying out of religious businesses when they are religiously themed not like universities not like hospitals not like restaurants or anything like that you know I don't well I don't know. They, I would think a restaurant would be stretching it. Because that's a freaking thing that's not themed. Everybody can eat. Everybody gets sick. You know, they don't need a religious restaurant. I was even watching this one show and they had uh, uh, condos for Jesus. And I think everybody can live in a place so that should stay um, illegal too. You know, 
some aspect of fair housing, I guess. I don't really agree with fair housing, but I just think that um, uh, that's living is not a theme of religion. So, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I stand on fair housing, to be honest. I just, I think it's the person's right. But maybe not a religious right. There, yeah. That's what I think. And that's some of the things, after reading a little bit, uh, I came to the conclusion of, tentatively. But, yeah. Really. So, tro on, Hobgoblin! I ain't listening. And for the other people... Thanks for the advice. I learned something. Just out.